guys. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to download and install Cinema 40 or 13. All the versions of them like Studio, Visualize Prime, and what's the other one? Broadcast. There you go. Also, Grayscale Gorillas Transform. Alright, so let's just get started now. The first thing you want to do is download Cinema 40 R13. I'll have a link in the description. So, go to the place wherever you saved it. Mine is under my downloads folder. Now you're going to see two files. But the other one, it's okay. There's, there's no use for it, so just leave that one and open up this with a program called Power ISO, and then click on Bound, and then choose any drives. If you don't, if you don't see any drives here, then just go under here, set number of drives, and just click one, two, three, how many you want. You will have to restart your computer though. So just go to any drive, mount image. And then go to the directory where you where you saved Cinema 4D. Once again, mine is under Downloads. Double click on it. Close Power ISO. Go to your computer. And then you should see it right there. Just double click on it. And then the installation will start. So just click OK after you choose your language. And then this screen will open. Just do nothing here. Just click Continue. Okay, now on this area, just put any name here. Put anything, whatever, yeah. Okay, just put anything, blah, blah, blah. Now, in the serial keys, I'll have another download for this text document. You just copy all this and paste it in. You can see you get all this. You get body paint, oh, 3D, R13 as well. Just click on continue. Make sure this is checked. And then hit continue and the installation should start. I'm going to close mine because I already have it. You can see up here. By the way, for those of you that know, this program is actually called Rocket Dock. That's how I get all these icons up there. Like, I still have my regular desktop. But I just like using Rocket Dock better. Okay. So, you've su successfully installed Cinema 4D. Now, to download transfer, transform my bad, go download it from the link once again, and save it somewhere, anywhere, and then open it with a program called WinRAR, go to this folder right here, GSG transform, and then there's a video, you can see if you want to install it, you can check that out. Or, um, or you can just see the rest of the video. Alright, so go to broadcast version because that's the one that we just installed. And then all you'll have to do this is really simple. Just move this window to the side. And open up another uh, no, Windows Explorer. Go to your hard drive. Go to program files or program files times 86. With, or, wherever you saved map. Or wherever you installed the map 40. Go to that folder, go into plugins, and all you do is just move that in there. Alright, as you can see, you already have it there. So just close all that, open up Cinema 4D. You can see it's broadcast R13. Alright, now that you're here, I'm going to prove to you that it has Prime and broadcast and all that good stuff. See, if you go under Create, Load Material Preset, you see Broadcast to Prime. Broadcast presets, animated backgrounds. Now these are actually pretty cool because I actually used one of these. I think it was Electric Cloud. Yeah. I used this in one of my intros. You guys can check that out on my channel. Or at the beginning of this video, obviously. You can, you'll notice that the background is actually moving. And to use Transform, go under Plugins and Transform. There you go. You have all the options. You have every single thing here. Zipper, waveform, whatever. Yep. So you got everything. So that's all for now. And oh, before I forget, if you guys want a tutorial on how to do my intro, just PM me. And if you guys want a tutorial on how to use Transform, PM me as well. So that's all for today.